Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, as you can clearly see on your screens. All the pain money can buy main event. John Moxley defends the World Heavyweight Championship against yours truly, Anthony Walker. But tonight, it ain't going to be a wrestling match. No, no, no. It ain't going to be a wrestling match like it was on Underground. No, no, no. Tonight, the World Heavyweight Championship is defended inside a steel cage. First blood rules. Ladies and gentlemen, this is GMW. This is all the pain money can buy. The show will start right after this quick message. Bullying in any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with. Any Excuse me. Forgot something. We'll do that again. So yes, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And we will start right after this message. Bullying in any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with. Any bullying will be an instant ban. This is a positive stream slash community and none of that is welcome. Please enjoy the show. We don't care, we don't care when you call our name We don't care, we don't care, we are just the same We didn't love the race and we didn't love the fire We need a miracle! What's up, peeps? <laughs> it is time. It is all the pain money could buy. Oh, baby, are we in business tonight? And why isn't anything working for me at this point? Ladies and gentlemen, it's on. That's right. It is time. Five championships. Am I going to win the World Heavyweight title? Who knows what's going to happen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, are we in for a treat. And I know why that's like that, because I turned it down, didn't I? Yep. Just making sure. Yep. You should all be able to hear that now. I turned it down, because I was doing something. I forgot to turn it up. That's fine. But you all know, five championships are on the line tonight. Matty Owen? He was supposed to be debuting Tuesday. We'll get to him in a minute. Five championships are on the line tonight, guys. And I've just fucked that up, as I always do. Five championships are on the line tonight. Also, we're going to have this match. That's right, the eight-man Money in the Bank ladder match. Lars Sullivan one-on-one -on -one with Byron Black. Also tonight as well, the Hardcore Championship is on the line. Adrian Webb going up against Maximum Carlos 
Adrian Webb's last chance to get the hardcore title. Mercedes, Heather Storm, and Lady J in a triple threat match for the women's title. The World Tag Team Championships are on the line tonight. Aftershock will be looking to get their first titles on this series. Will they beat will the team who are seemingly unstoppable at the moment? And that is War and Alex Siva. And to be fair, I can't deny that whatsoever. Triple threat match, even if I stand corrected. It's a three-way dance tonight. Cam Martin defends the title against Loco Joe and Rhino. Two out of three falls. No holes barred match. No excuses. No nothing tonight. It is a two out of three fall. No holes barred match. And it will be killer one-on-one with Billy Paragon. And inside a solid steel cage. This was a wrestling match last week on uh, Underground. Moxley lost his match to Loco on Tuesday. I pinned him 1-2-3 in the tag match on Thursday. Am I going to walk out with my championship tonight? Or is Moxley's reign of terror going to continue here on GMW? But let's find out what Matty Owen wants tonight. I want to know what Matty Owen wants. He's supposed to be making his debut on Tuesday, but apparently he didn't want to wait. So, yeah... Pretty much, he didn't want to wait. Hope everybody is doing good, no matter where you are in this world. We're going to kick this off tonight. Let's go. I'm pumped for this. <laughs> it is Matty Owen kick, kick this off. I want to know what he's talking about um, as well. And hopefully everything will run smooth. I had a little bit of a crash on Thursday. Um, <clears throat> but like I say, I worked around it. Thanks to say it's the beauty of me streaming through OBS, not through fucking, what I call it, the console, because if it was on console, I'd be off air. That's the beauty of me streaming through OBS. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will be on Glimish. I hope to be on Glimish on Tuesday. I can't do it early doors, unless I wake up early. Uh, but I don't think that they'll be around at the time that I am, because it says at 11 a.m. Eastern time, the uh, site will drop. I... I don't know when that will be. So I might have to do it on Wednesday, but sometime I might pop up a stream after the uh I might pop up a stream after the um what they call it? After the uh thingy. The GMW on Tuesday. I will be doing GMW Tuesday, that's not gonna stop that. Glemish ain't gonna stop me from doing GMW on this channel, if you know what I'm saying. But if I don't do it on Tuesday, I'll do it the next day. I'll do a test run on the next day, so like I say, I'll be on there, and I might do one right before my Red Dead Redemption stuff as well. I Hopefully, if it drops at the time on 3 o'clock time, UK time, if it drops right about then and it's available, I will do a quick stream before the pay-per-view, uh, before the show, the uh, GMW show, because I'm in a meeting at uh, 1 o'clock UK time as well on Tuesday. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But hopefully it'll all pan out on there as well. But sometime next week, I will do a test run on Glimish. Um, I'm not going to do anything hard on it yet because, like I say, it's an alpha. And alpha means beta. So there's going to be some cock-ups on there. But I'm going to try it out and see what's up. A lot of people are jumping over from Twitch. But I'm going to try it out and see what's up. Um, I've got my stuff ready and everything like that. Sub buttons over there as well. And uh, I will promote the Glimish site right, or the Glimish site will promote itself later on in the stream. So, with that being said, it's Matty Owen. Hmm. I think it's my first Jordy here in GMW, ladies and gentlemen. So, Matty Owen. Apparently, he was supposed to make his debut on Tuesday. But apparently, he doesn't want to wait. Okay. So, let's see what he has to say. So, Matty Owen. Unscheduled, by the way, is going to kick us off. So here we go. As people well know, this is GMW. Uh, I am new around here, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matty Owen. 
Um, I was told by the boss of GMW that I was going to make my debut on Tuesday. But I didn't want to wait. So tonight, I am looking to make a name for myself on this pay-per-view. Ooh. Yes, it is my debut. Yes, I am new around here. I'm just a rookie around here. But I am issuing an open challenge. And I hope management is listening. I am issuing an open challenge to anybody that's willing to come up and step up to me. And test me. Ooh. Whether you're a man, beast... Doesn't matter who you are. I'm tired of being passed by. I've been passed by all my life. Tonight, I'm looking to make a name for myself. And what better way to do it here on pay-per-view. So if anybody backstage is looking for a fight, come and get it. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, I am in GMW. I am looking to make an impact. And I'm going to give you an example of what I've got in store for you people and for GMW right now. I just hope the person is up for a loss tonight. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, GMW is about to change forever. Because I am going to be the very first Newcastle-born GMW world heavyweight champion either way i'm going to be a champion here in gmw come what may hmm. interesting i think ladies and gentlemen i think i have a match for him so yeah i do have a match in store ladies and gentlemen yes I do have a match. So hang tight, mister. We're going to have a match. And we're going to have it right now. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there's your main event of the evening. Like I said last, last week on GMW Underground, this match was a wrestling match, just a regular wrestling match. I didn't want to wait until... Uh, until the match. I didn't want to wait until the matchup. This was a regular wrestling match. I just didn't want to wait. And I got a win over count out, a count out victory. This past Thursday, I managed to pin um this man, John Moxley, in a tag match. Hopefully tonight, in the first blood cage match, I get to bust him open and take my and take my belt back and also take back my company. We'll have to wait and see them. But that is still to come. That is your main event of the evening, no matter what. Also still to come today, the World Tag Team Championships are on the line. The TV Championship is on the line. The Hardcore Championship is also up for grabs as well. And plus many, many more as well. And plus some grudge matches as well. Because in the two out of three fall grudge match, it is Billy Paragon one-on-one -on -one with Killer. In a two out of three falls, no holes barred grudge match tonight hopefully that will be settled but apparently mr matty is in the ring and i've sent out the guy who is going to wrestle him and his name is matt anderson and we're going to have that match now so here we go two newcomers here in gmw getting their first pay-per-view start here on all the paid money combined what a better way to get yourself noticed here in GMW. Not only that, what a better way to get yourself on noticed than be on pay-per-view. Both of these guys' first matches. And I guess you could say it is a trial match as well, just to see what they do. But, uh, yeah, very interesting seeing what's up. So, Matty Anderson in the brightly coloured attire there with uh, Matty Owen, who is in the black trousers the black pants there with tune on him because he's from newcastle oh there's a hat shot there beautifully the beautifully done by matty Owen. first cover of the match referee in position for once where he gets a one count roundhouse kicks 
beautiful neck uh, cutter, rather. As well as a neck breaker, but it wasn't. It was a cutter. Oh, and there's a p playing pass here. Ref in perfect position, even though it was a slow count. But Matteo in control so far. Knee to the gut. And an elbow to the back. Matty Anderson in the corner. What's Owen going to do? Yo, what up, Owen? And there's a fist drop there. Matty Owen making his debut as well as Matty Anderson. As well, Matt Anderson, Matty Owen. Here in this unscheduled match, but hey, I appreciate people that want to be in this. Uh, yes, you are. Uh, I appreciate people that want to get themselves on pay-per-view. Even though I pretty much had this match scheduled for Tuesday, but apparently Mr. Owen didn't want to wait. So, hey. Here he goes. And he's doing very well so far. So far, so good. An unscheduled match to open the contest here on GMW. Neckbreaker by Owen. Beautiful. Referee. Fuck's sake, ref. One. Stupid referee always has to be doing the Texas two-step or something. Idiot. I don't know why they need to run for when you can just make the count right there and then, but anyway. Snake eyes. Excellently done. Um, that's a Cobra Clutch Slayer. Unique offense from the Jordy. One, two. And that's a win. Very impressive. Very impressive by Matty Owen. In his debut. I think Mr. Anderson has got a lot to work on. But Matty Owen gets his first win in GMW. Excellent win by Mr. Owen. Bit of sportsmanship there. An unscheduled match. But Matty Owen, impressive in GMW. In his first match, at least. Very impressive. You like that signature? I, I like it. It was impressive. And hey, it got you a victory, big man. Matty Owen gets his first win in GMW. So, gotta admit, impressed. Right, now we get down to scheduled programming here on the pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Because coming up next, we're going to get all the guys in the ring. And it's an eight-man... That's right, it's an eight-man... Money in the Bank ladder match. You can see the Money in the Bank briefcase behind the guys. That's what they're going for. Well, you keep that up. You won't be getting the title shot straight away, but if you keep that up, you might be in line for a, a title shot quicker than you think. Like I said, I'll figure out what's next for you coming week. this coming week. So, I might save you for uh, Underground on Saturday. We'll see what happens. But yes, eight-man ladder match. The briefcase is right behind. We've got Mr. O.A., who's been on quite the roll, especially in LCW, as I saw yesterday. <coughs> Ray Wolf, Punishment Martinez, Logan Storm, O.J.J., Vota, the former world champion himself, Big Amish, and a former world champion in his own right, Tuba Man. Now, whoever wins this gets to hold that briefcase and cash the briefcase in anytime he chooses for a world heavyweight championship match. No matter where it is, no matter how it is. But that briefcase is going to be meaning a lot. Who is going to win? It is an action-packed field. We're not going to do any entrances. We're going to get right into the middle of the thing. We're going to get right into it. This is going to be great. Going to be big as well. That's what she said. Like I say, big things can happen out of this. Because whoever wins this will have the, let's just say, the ultimate key to going for that World Heavyweight Championship. I promised Big Amish a world title shot. He may get it quicker than anything. He may not need to get a promise out of me if he carries this briefcase, because he can get the title shot anytime he chooses as well, should he 
should he survive. This is a big match, man. This is a huge encounter. Ray Wolf, Punishment Martinez, Mr. OA, OJJ, Big Amish, Logan Storm, Vota, and Tuberman. And Vota said he was going to be an ass kicker this past week. Once upon a time, he was that ass kicker. He wants to go back down that road again. Will he do it? He will if he wins this match. I'm sure, because he will have the opportunity to get the championship. He nearly put he put on the map and cause and will he be able to cause havoc like he used to do? Because he pissed off a couple of people before back of the day. One of them's in this match. And he also pissed me off a few times as well when he was world champion. Will he be going down that road again? Let's find out. Eight man. Ladder match. Money in the bank. Who is going to be the GMW money in the bank? Let's go. Ring the bell. Let's go. Ring it. Eight men. One ladder. One briefcase, which is high above. And Mr. Martinez not wasting any time. Smartly goes to the outside. Mr. Martinez. A lot of stuff. Action-packed match right here, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be hard to keep up with. The only way you win is when you climb the ladder to grab the briefcase that is above the arena. There's above the ring, I should say. Every man for himself. Superman gets thrown to the outside by the big Amish. Every man for himself. No excuses. One person walks out with the briefcase. Still the comp, Byron Black looks to make it 3-0 against Lars Sullivan. Also, Adam Adrian Webb challenges Maximum Carlos for the Hardcore Championship one last time. And also, the World Tag Team Championships are on the line. Two out of three falls, no holds barred grudge match as well. Everything is on the line. Uh, Sky, appreciate you as always. Thank you so much. Great stream earlier on the day. Was catching some of it. Uh, you and Rocket League. <laughs> You're at work until closing time. Hope you have a good day at work and I hope you enjoy yourself. Like I say, hopefully I'm not long from going back to work myself, which will probably be next season, I guess. Uh, this will be my last stream guys to, uh, for the week I will hopefully be back on Monday hopefully uh, I am to be on Facebook on Monday what I'm doing on Facebook I don't know I might do something different on uh, Monday we'll see but uh, we'll see what happens I have to ask that question do I want to play Battlefield on Monday we'll see what happens because that game is ragey see what happens I know Glemish is out next week guys so we'll see what happens it's going to be interesting though right Waywolf with Mr. OA Logan Storm in there as well OJJ uh, Big Amish getting tangled up in the ropes gotta love this game ladies and gentlemen Votto with Punishment Martinez on the outside in the aisleway beautiful like a stunner move there, or version of the cold breaker by OJJ. And uh, poor old Tuba man took a back bump on the ladder. Which was a bit of a nightmare in its own right. Open storm with Tuba man, OJJ. Which one of these is going to go for that ladder? That's what it's all about, guys. The briefcase is hanging above the ring. Tuba man with that tuba factor. OJJ with a chop block. Ray Wolf gets sent to the outside by Volta. OJJ going up on top. Will he be able to hit Tuba Man from where he is? No. He, well, he almost did. If He would have done if uh, Tuba Man hadn't got the knees up. The reckoning on Volta by Man Martinez. This is Martinez's chance. Someone please go up and get that ladder. Who is going to be money in the bank? 
who is going to be in dreamland Votter and Martinez Martinez with a boot to the midsection is he going that's a power bomb slingshot power bomb I suppose you can call that he's going for it again and again wow the game's nice in Martinez three power bombs uh, why not make it a four hopefully not a five there you go Vota gets rid of it because that would be ridiculous but anyway oh he's going for reckoning but Logan Storm puts an end to that and Martinez goes to the apron who is going up on the ladder the briefcase is hanging above the ring you can see the GMW logo from the briefcase someone go up the damn ladder for Pete's sake just one time here we go Votto goes up but Tuba Man was waiting for that Votta look at Storm with a super kick he's Tuba Man's first attempt ladies and gentlemen He's got the briefcase. At least someone has the, the will to go for that briefcase, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is going on? I think I might need to restart my, uh, my what they call it, ladies and gentlemen. My uh, mixing up that. I'll give it a couple of minutes. I'll give it till the end of this match and I'll see what happens. To the man. Takes that side slam. That's that's one of the world championship. That Martinez, OJJ with the ladder, Tuba Man having to deal with the offense of Martinez and that knee at the side of the face. OJJ now up on the ladder. Sees Martinez. And now it's Martinez and OJJ on that ladder. Ray Wolf looking to take that down. Martinez. What is Martinez doing with OJJ? Oh my God, a Death Valley driver from the top of the ladder. Oh my God, indeed. A spectacular move from uh, Martinez there. That's it, but OJJ running on a drill and he has to be running on a drill. And Amish now getting his first attempt to go up the ladder but he's going to be meeting at the top by Tuba Man these two have had quite the rivalry and Amish has got Tuba Man oh he had him in the uh, choke slam but then Tuba Man gets flung off this is Amish's chance to try and get that briefcase or not Logan Storm puts an end to that and Amish takes a rough bump very rough bump Beautiful counter from Martinez there. Like I said, this is an action-packed match, guys. I think I know what match I want to see on Tuesday. Oh, half Nelson suplex. Half Nelson German suplex. Amish gets thrown to the outside. What the hell is Vota doing? I don't know. And then Vota gets thrown to the outside. I have no idea why my what to call it is not working. Why isn't my thingy connecting to uh need to uh what to call it, redo restart my uh, mix it up. 
I have no idea why it's not working. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. This is a rough, rough match. not what I wanted. Uh, what the fuck is going on around here? Can't get my fucking mixer up. There we go. Oh, and Mr. Wowie took a, a hefty fall there. Oh, god damn it. Seriously? Now you can get rid of this. Oh, and Martinez took a big fall. Tuberman maintaining the balance. He's trying to. Doesn't help when Vot is there. Martin Tuberman. This is a very difficult match. So whoever wins this match is going to very much earn it. Ray Wolf, look at the stop tube man. Look at the knock tube man off there. One of them's going to knock him off there so he can stop him from getting the thing. Ray Wolf up on the other side. Mr. Owe prevents Ray Wolf from getting that briefcase. This is probably the most difficult match in GMW. I mean, this was scheduled to be six competitors, but it ended up being eight because I felt that I felt that uh, OJJ got wrongfully uh, got a raw deal, if you will, and a great, 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 great opportunity there for OJJ. Ah, it's because I didn't sign in, did I? Because I'm signing out early, you know. Fuck's sake! Stupid twitch. Anyway, bear with me a sec, ladies and gentlemen, while I sort this out. It's not authorised, and fucking Twitch is a pain in the ass. Hopefully that has worked. If it hasn't worked, I want to know why. It worked. Better worked. There is. Martinez. This is a crazy match. And the Martinez shot there. Martinez, they need to stop Logan Storm. Logan Storm up there now. Can he get the briefcase? Not when he's hanging like that, he can't. And Vota power bombs him off there. Martinez again. Double underhook. Hanging vertical suplex. Coming up. Amish on the outside, OJJ on the outside. 
Did Mr. Owe just stamp on the arm? I'm pretty sure he did. He stood on the arm. Oh, there it is. It's on. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's give it some time. Right, I'll sort it out after this match. Powerbomb. Uh, I was about to say Tuba Man on the up. I was about to say OJJ there. Tuba Man up on top. The elbows, the big Amish. OJJ gets flown to the outside. Thank you for all the followers on Facebook. Appreciate the followers on the Facebook. Right hand, right hand again. Straight fist. Oh my God, what a, a shot. Vota. On the outside. Two man on the outside as well. Hard Irish whip. That's for all the lurks so far. Say we've got a long way to go, hopefully, in this match. We've got a long way to go with this match going on. This is insane, guys. Amish up there as well. What a right head and a fist. An Amish, I don't know what old, Mr. Orway is doing. Hey, every man for themselves, so the Lobos are going to be fighting. It's in Ray Wolf and uh, Punishment Martinez, members of the Los Loco Lobos, so they're going to be fighting. I'm sorry. It is every man for himself. Only one guy can get that briefcase. It looks like Ray Wolf will not be getting a briefcase if Mr. O.A. has his way. Oh, buckle bar. And Martinez whacked Mr. O.A. with that ladder. And it whacks his partner with that ladder too. Like I say, every man for himself. Ray Wolf throws Martinez on the outside. I think Ray Wolf gets thrown to the outside, excuse me. Again, a lot of miles. That's a side slam. That move has won Martinez a world championship. Will it happen again? Like I say. Every man for themselves. Hard Irish whip. Votter. Who is going to get that briefcase? This is a crazy match. This was a scheduled match, unlike the first match with Matty Owen and Matt Anderson earlier on tonight. That match was unscheduled. But a great win for Matty Owen in his debut. His unsuspected debut here at GMW. It was meant to be Tuesday, but Matty didn't want to wait, so that's fine. And he got a big win tonight over Matt Anderson. Yes, this is PS4, killer. Welcome in, by the way. This is PS4.
And yes, guys, as well, if you are interested in joining, there are the rules to join on GMW. If you have a character, if you have the game and you have a character, if you have a PS4, all you got to do is upload your character to Community Creations using the hashtag GMW. That's all you got to do. And let me know, and I'll download your character. I'll have a look at it as well. I'll have a bunch at it, and I'll download it, and your character could be on this very show. And you say, you have a PS4, upload your character to Community Creations using, using the hashtag GMW. I'll stick it in the chat for those of you that are wondering. There we go, GMW. And Baron Martinez. We're getting very close to a winner here, guys. No worries. Do you do downloads? I would like to contract, contract, okay. I've got to change the hashtag. Uh, do you do, do downloads? Here, you in the back, okay. Uh, do you do downloads? I download community creations. I Most of these characters are downloaded. I do create characters as well, but I get most of my characters downloaded from community creations. Use the hashtag GMW. Um, you don't have to change it. If you have a hashtag yourself, um, let me know the hashtag, uh, Killer. Um, let me know the hashtag yourself, yourself. If you don't want it to use that, that's fine. But put it in the GMW makes it easy for me. So I can go and find it. But if you know your hashtag, let me know it and I'll check it after the stream. Oh my god. My, uh, well, that's another compromising position there for the big Amish. Right on that ladder. Let's hope nobody goes out and breaks that ladder with him on it, if you know what I mean. It's under PRW. Okay, I will make a note of that. Kill it. What's his name? What character? What's the character's name? What's the character's name? Just so I know who I'm downloading. Draco. Okie dokie. I have made a note of that, sir. And I will take a good look of it after this pay-per-view. When, when this pay-per-view is done, I will have a look of it. And I'll have a, I'll have a butcher's at it. Okay. So, your ki so Draco could be debuting here on GMW probably this week on Tuesday. Draco, Draco, whatever it is. Yeah, and thanks for the follow, Killer. Uh, yeah. And this will be streamed. GMW is streamed on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday. Right here on this very channel. No matter what Glimish is doing, no matter what Facebook does, you always get GMW Tuesdays and Thursdays on this channel. Unless I'm working, and then I'll rearrange the schedule. Either way, GMW is on this channel. And it's on Saturdays on Facebook as well. With their GMW Underground. And GMW Underground is back. It's back on Facebook next, next Saturday as well. Yes, it is today, but this is the pay-per-view uh, killer. Normally I do at this time, normally at this time I do uh, GMW uh, Underground on Facebook, but with this pay-per-view being here, um, it's okay, with the pay-per-view being here, uh, Underground's got the night off, or the week off, and it'll be back next week. Pay-per-views, like all the paid money can buy this show, will be here on Saturdays. I used to do them go-home shows. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do two shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I'd probably do Underground on Saturday, and then the following week I'll do a pay-per-view on a Thursday, but I don't do that no more. This week we've had the two go-home shows, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then the pay-per-view here as well, and then we get back to normal next Tuesday as well. And then on March 6th on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games matter mafia, I will be back on there with uh, Underground. As well, so Underground will be back next Saturday. For those of you that don't know, on under 
on there as well. I have no idea what I'm going to have on the show, but I know it's King of the Ring. King of the Ring qualifiers start this week, this Tuesday as well, so... King of the Ring matches, qualifiers. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do in respect of the, uh, of the, uh, you know, how it's going to turn out yet of the tournament. But yes, King of the Ring starts this week, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, facebook.com forward slash games matter mafia. Forget that. Beautiful DDT on the outside by Big Am. Who is going to win? I think you have to go up there now, get the ladder, and get one more dot on the ladder. On the uh, briefcase to get it down. Who is going to get that? Who is going to get that opportunity? Unfortunately, it might not be Big Amish. But who is going to get that opportunity? I'll decide that over the weekend. Um, you probably have a chance. You might make your debut. It might be a King of the Ring qualifier as well. Um, I think it's qualifying matches this week that I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to set it out yet. Am I going to do qualifiers and then go into a last 16 and then a qualifier? Or maybe do a 16, qualify, 16 matches as a qualifier and go into a quarterfinals and then the semifinals and then have the final at the pay-per-view? Because the pay-per-view will be at the end of March. I don't know what day it's going to be. You have to look at my social medias uh, for that. Check my social medias out as well for that as well. And also check my Discord as well because I'll probably put it in there. I haven't quite worked it out yet. I'll probably work it out after this pay-per-view. So, yeah. Martinez, is he going to get that? Martinez is money in the bank. And Punishment Martinez has a, has a one-way ticket to get that World Heavyweight Championship. He is now carrying the briefcase for that World Heavyweight Championship. Congratulations to Punishment Martinez. He is back on the right path to face... Whoever the world champion is after tonight, or whoever the world champion will be once he catches it in. Because Punishment Martinez is money in the bank. Tremendous win. And, he, and I'll give him credit. He earned that one. He earned that one. Boy, oh boy, did he earn that one. Punishment Martinez is money in the bank. Wow. And that's the action you could expect here on GMW, ladies and gentlemen. Because that was amazing. Right. Byron Black. And yes, a former WWE superstar. Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan made his debut and run rough shot here on GMW. He's had a couple of losses, but he, had, he redeemed one loss that he had on Underground. But uh, he's having a tough time beating this man, Byron Black, at the moment. Because at the moment, Mr. Byron Black has two pinfall victories over him. Mr. Black tonight will be looking to make it 3-0 three and, three and oh tonight over Lars Sullivan. But I'm sure Mr. Sullivan will be looking to end the career of Byron Black and get sweet revenge. Will he do it? We'll find out tonight. We're going to find out in a second. Big thank you to everybody who's hosted so far. Bit of a quiet night tonight. Like I say it's my first pay per view tonight, but like I say, if you can't if you can't make the streams, or you can't be here, not a problem, ladies and gentlemen, because everything is going to be up on the VOD once it's all done. Yes, so you can check the VOD. I will highlight this video, and you can watch it in your own time. the The live broadcast will be for fourteen days, but the other one will stay. So, yeah. So GM. So yes, this will be up. On the replays as well. And all being well, this will be up on the YouTube channel and Facebook page as well. Probably on the Facebook page, probably Monday, maybe. If I can get on to, 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 uh, tomorrow, I'll do so. Uh, episode, the second um, Go Home Show replay will be up later tonight. As I'm doing this right now, it'll be up later tonight. It should be up now if you're seeing this. If you're seeing this on Facebook, but if he's... If you need it live and everything, it'll be up on the Facebook page later tonight. So be sure to check that out as well. 
Yes, Mr. Sullivan, former WWE competitor, got released and walked right in to GMW. Pretty much. Because I signed him. Uh, Jay Patterson, thank you for the follow. Welcome yourself to this mafia and welcome to the GMW pay per view. Hi, welcome in, sir. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you so much for that follow. And I welcome you with open arms. And I welcome you with open arms, my man. Welcome aboard. Welcome to GMW, all the pain money can buy. This is the pay per view. Next month, probably round about this time, will be uh, King of the Ring. GMW presents King of the Ring. If you win, King of the Ring. If you win King of the Ring, the King of the Ring, or the GMW King of the Ring tournament. If you win the King of the Ring tournament, ladies and gentlemen, here in GMW, you will go to Feel the Heat in April and be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. So whoever the world champion is, you will wrestle that man at Feel the Heat on pay-per-view, which will be the SummerSlam Spectacular. And the reason why it's in April, because on here, and I'll be in August on Universe Chicago, Mode. Illinois, weighing in at 258 pounds, Brian. Awesome. Byron Black. Damn ring announcer. Um, so yes, can this man make it 3-0 against Lars Sullivan? Or will Lars Sullivan take out his rage on this man? As well. If you want to see how I created the arena, get yourself over to Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. I will probably put that video up on this channel as well at some point. Probably later on tonight. But... Uh, Yes, get yourself over to Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Facebook.com forward slash Games Matter Mafia for the uh, the creative side and the preview of this show as well. Normally, I would have done the preview that I did yesterday on uh, Twitch on the Tuesday, but I don't do, like I said, I don't do pay-per-views no more on Tuesdays. It's all on Thursday now, ladies. It's all on Tuesdays, on Thursdays now. It's all on Saturdays now from this point on, the weekend. Like I said, the next pay-per-view, GMW pay-per-view, will be King of the Ring. And I'm going to set a date for that the minute this pay-per-view is over. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope all is well, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a quiet night tonight. Everybody's doing their thing. It is a Saturday night. But like I say, guys, if you're not here for the stream, if you're not here, you can watch this back. In all its glory on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Games Matter Mafia, on the Facebook page. And shout out to Facebook if you are watching this. And just remember, Facebook, it's a premiere that you're seeing. I am not live. Okay? Feel free to write the comments. In, feel free to write in the comments and be interactive as you can in the, in the uh, premiere. I will get back to you the minute I see the comments. I always check the comments on the premieres if there's any comments on there. So. Like I say, I don't ignore you guys. It's just a lot of people mistaken the premieres on the Facebook for uh, live streams. Which is nothing new because the mistake on here, the mistake we want for live streams. On here, it's, uh, it's nothing new. Which is ridiculous, but it, in any event. Big thank you to everybody who's got past uh, 900. Sky, you are done, as always. Hope work is treating you well. Like I say, I hope to be back at work in a couple of months. Or so, maybe five months max, depending on what things are going on. I don't know what's going on yet. I don't even know if they're going to have the, uh, the uh, what to call it. Go to the midsection, and Sullivan gets back in the ring. Sullivan wants to end Byron Black. He wants to put this in. You're doing a battle well. Nice. Um, I, I pretty much did a battle royal earlier on in the ladder match. Punch Martinez is now money in the bank, ladies and gentlemen. He's now carrying around the briefcase that gets you a world championship match. Will Martinez do what he did before? I become world champion. We'll find out. The diving clothesline. Backbreaker. Sullivan up on top. This is risky for him. 
I don't know what that was, but it was effective because he got him with it. Sullivan looking to finish off Black for embarrassing him on two occasions, but Black has got a pair of nuts on him. I'll give him his due. One. Only a one count, though. Nice. Battle Royal for the Universal title. Nice. Look out. Big back body drop. Sullivan on the outside to get that space. Oh, Samoa Joe has the title. Nice. I don't know why he's sitting behind a friggin' announce table in IRL. That makes no fucking sense. Don't get me wrong, he's good behind the commentary booth. I don't deny that whatsoever. But that motherfucker needs to get back in the ring. Seriously. He needs to get back in the ring and win championships. Like I say, I don't deny the fact... Like I say, I don't deny the fact that he is a good commentator, man, but come on. How that guy is not in in the ring competing is beyond me. If he was booked right and everything like he was in NXT, that guy would be on top of the world now in WWE. If he was booked right. I'd have him as champion. If it was me. I'd have him go against uh, McIntyre. Or oh, whoever the WWE champion was. Probably McIntyre after WrestleMania. There's that headbutt again. Can Sullivan finish him off? Sullivan needs to finish this off quickly. And he's going for that move, but back. Byron Black has Sullivan's number. He's the Raw WWE champion, okay. Yeah, don't get me started on Seth. Seth makes no sense. Embrace the vision. What vision is that? Yeah. I bet you embraced the giant swing this past Friday on SmackDown. Embrace the giant swing. Wake. Kick to the back. Back. Oh. Oh, kick. Stunner. Stunner. He hits it. Has he done it again? One, two. And Sullivan kicks out. Don't know what's next for Big Lars. It seems that Mr. Black has his number. And there's another stunner. Yes, yeah, Universal Title Smackdown title. One, two. And Byron Black makes it 3 0 against Sullivan. I can't believe that. Something big is going for Mr. Black. Because he just made a big name for himself here, man. In these matches that he's had with Lars Sullivan. He has made a big name for himself. He's beaten three straight falls. That is unbelievable. Byron Black has beaten Lars Sullivan three straight Brian matches. Black. Unbelievable. Mr. Black is the ch is a met. Wow, that that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That is crazy, man. Byron Black, the winner. Unbelievable. Right, coming up next, Hardcore Championship. Adrian Webb, one-on-one. -on -one. That's right, Adrian Webb, one-on-one -on -one with Maximum Carlos. Big Blake. Who's this guy? 
Expect the unexpected tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Interesting. Right, let's see what Mr. Black has to say. Or oh, Blake, sorry. Interesting match, interesting guy. Now before security gets their butts out here and realizes this, I'm here on behalf of Adrian Webb. Adrian Webb, who is going to be the next hardcore champion. I'm endorsing that because he is the man. Okay. Adrian Webb and I go back a long way. And we're going to take over GMW. Another dog and you morons are going to like it and lump it. Because sooner or later, Mr. Webb and I are going to take over. And Adrian Webb is going to be the man around here. Okay. And I'll be damned if it doesn't start tonight. Because tonight, Mr. Webb will be the hardcore champion of GMW. And we will go from there. Me, him... And another friend of ours. One way or another, GMW, we're taking over. Great. I have to deal with another moron. And then this Tuesday, I will be in action on Tuesday. And I will start my plan, along with Webb, to take over GMW. I am sick and tired of seeing Webb get disrespected. That all ends now. So get used to it, GMW. Whether you like it or not, myself, my friend, and Adrian Webb are taking over. And there ain't nothing you, GMW, or the head of the mafia can do about it. Is that so? Okay. Okay, Big Mouth. We'll see what you got on Tuesday, Big Shot. Okay. Okay. We'll see what you got on Tuesday, Big Man. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Last time that happened. Yeah. You're not the first person to come in and start doing that, punk. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh. That's cool. Money in the bank. Now we've got the hardcore title match. The hardcore championship match. Maximum Carlos one-on-one -on -one with Adrian Webb. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen. Triple threat match for the women's championship. Mercedes, Lady J, and Heather Storm. The world tag team championships are on the line. The Aftershock take on War and Alex Seaver. Three-way dance for the world TV championship. Loco Joe, Cam Martin, and Rhino. The winner begins. Excellent. Uh, the winner becomes the world television champion. Two out of three falls. No holes barred match. Grudge match, if you will, between Killer and Billy Paragon. And your main event of the evening, yours truly, challenges Moxley for the world heavyweight championship inside a steel cage. And yes, it's first blood. 
So we'll see what happens later on. But now we get on with the paper, the, uh, I suppose you could say a first half main event. It is Adrian Webb, Maximum Carlos for the World Hardcore Championship. And this is Adrian Webb's last opportunity for the time being at least to become Hardcore Champion. He fails, he'll have to go to the back of the line. Hope everybody's enjoying GMW. That's right, GMW. Each and every Tuesday, Thursday. Saturdays on Facebook. Saturdays on here if they're on if it's on uh, Saturdays on Facebook. Saturdays on here if it's a pay-per-view. And I can say pay-per-views are streamed exclusively live right here on this very channel. As well. GMW Hardcore Championship is now. If you can, 30. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the World's Hardcore Championship. False count anywhere, guys. Here comes the challenger. Adrian Webb, last attempt for the Hardcore Championship. I wonder what he thought of his, uh, of Big Blake, uh, as, it, as he calls himself. I appreciate that, man. Make sure you read the rules in that. There's some introductions and rules in there. Uh, in that, uh, Patterson. Please make sure you read the rules in that and, uh, like I say, it's not an active Discord, but it's it helps you keep up to date with when I'm online as well. Like I said, there's a section in there about GMW as well, how to join and whatnot. And if you want to join GMW, there's the thing as well. So, But if you have a PS4, if you have a hashtag, tell me the hashtag. I'll, I'll look it up. Um, but upload your character using the hashtag GMW. And there's that beautiful hardcore championship belt on the shoulder of Maximum Carlos, a guy who is finally a singles title, a singles champion here in GMW, looking to upgrade the belt and become maybe world television champion down the road. He's already been a former world tag team champion with the now guy who was running around with the briefcase, that is Mr. Punishment Martinez as well but right now he is the hardcore champion he beat Drex this past week for that hardcore title as well appreciate it he's now walking around with that hardcore championship belt will he be able to successfully defend it tonight and keep it in the Lubbers there it is hardcore title baby First of five championships tonight. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 251 pounds. I have a horrible delay. Yeah. And introducing the champion 
from Oakland, California, weighing in at 215 pounds. He is the Maximus Carlos. Maximum Carlos. Oh, Maximus Carlos. Will he be maximum tonight? We're going to find out. Looking at that beautiful hardcore championship belt. Anything goes in these type of matches, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what it's about. First of five championships tonight. The women's title is coming up, as well as the tag titles, the TV championship, and of course the main event for the heavyweight championship of the world. All titles are on the line tonight. Knee to the gut. Maximum Carlos. Roundhouse kick to the back. Carlos was in control until uh, Webb got out of him. Uh, leg break. Uh, leg, leg whip. There you go. I knew we'd get to me eventually. What's he going for? Slammed him to the back. Beautiful belly to belly suplex. Great, grateful for the followers, guys. On uh, the good old Facebook as well. Appreciate that. Um, if anybody's interested, ladies and gentlemen, let me get these up here. There's my Facebook, if you are interested. And also, guys, there's my Glemish as well. Because hopefully sometime next week, I will be testing that out. All being well, of course. So if you're on there, get yourself over and follow. I would greatly appreciate that. Ooh, a, whoa, boxing right hand there. Like I said, no disqualifications, guys. Next two pay-per-views for GMW are King of the Ring and Feel the Heat. Then after that, I'm bringing an old favourite back. As well, I'm bringing an old favourite. No, there'll be some people lurking there. Patterson, there'll be some people lurking. I can say it's quiet night tonight, but that's okay with me. I can say if you're not in the stream, guys, get yourself over. It. You know this will be up on the on the channel, guys. I can say it's my first, it's my first stream on the Saturday, guys. So on Twitch, it's my first time streaming on Twitch on a Saturday for a while. So I never used to stream on the weekends. I did before, and then I stopped doing it, and then I got back to doing it again, because I normally stream, like I say, I normally stream on, on Facebook. I normally stream on Facebook on Saturdays. Maybe I'll do a pay-per-view on the Facebook. You know, GMW pay-per-view on Facebook. Like I say, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the next coming months bring. I might do a pay-per-view. Roll up. Ref out of position as always. One, two. And Webb almost got the... One, two. Oh, maybe not. One count. Backslide. One. Only one count. Let's see, Webb almost got the victory there. No count outs, no disqualifications, as you clearly saw there. Pin force count anywhere. Combinations by Webb. Oh my god. Carlos hit hard. One, uh, two, and only two count though. God, the referee's always out of position in this game. Two, only a two count though. No. Oh, my God. Baseball bat. That's how they do it in the Lobos. 
Ooh, that elbow there, vicious elbow. Very vicious. Another elbow. Kick to the back. Arm bar. Or kick to the arm, rather. And a kick to the arm. Ow, that hurt. Right hand. Oh, the right hand again. Oh, great. I'm going to superplex. And Mr. Carlos is going for a ride. And a rough one at that. Now, if I was at Webb right now, I would cover him. And he heard me. Cover, one, two, but Carlos kicks out. Oh, and, oh, and Carlos, oh! Carlos whacks him with a kendo stick. Oh, and Webb returns the favor. Carlos returns the favor right in the gut. Oh my god, he hits him from behind. And again, beats him up with it. It's smart. Just beat the hell out of him with it and do it quick. Nice. Look out. Carlos. Uh, and a slam. One, two, almost a two count, almost a three count there. Crazy. Oh, double on the hook. Oh, and he hits him with a suplex. Just beats the hell out of him. Viciousness. Kevin Axe, thank you for the follow. -up. Right hand, boot to the midsection, knee and back, um, leg, I suppose, I suppose, whatever that is. One, two, and Webb coming so very close to becoming a GMW hardcore champion at the third attempt, I'm guessing. There's that knee. Knee strike. Has he done it? And finally, Adrian Webb is hardcore champion. Finally, he did it. And Adrian Webb has become the hardcore champion. Finally. Hardcore champion, Adrian Webb. He's finally done it. And why the hell did I just do that? Here is your winner and new W. Adrian Webb is finally the hardcore champion. Unbelievable. Adrian Webb, your new hardcore champion. 
Back against the wall, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose. So, we move on. Let's get a breather back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get our breather back. So, we'll be back right after this. Bullying in any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with. Any bullying will be an instant ban. This is a positive stream slash community and none of that is welcome. Please, enjoy the show. We don't care. from Chile. Kevin, I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this pay-per-view. Ladies and gents, it is now time for the second mat, for the second championship of the night. That's right, second of two of their uh, five championships on the line tonight. It is the Women's Championship, GMW Women's World title on the line. Lady J, Heather Storm, the number one contender, and the champion herself, Mercedes. We've had one new champion tonight in Adrian Webb. Adrian, ne Adrian Webb is now the hardcore champion. Are we going to have two? Let's see. Can that continue? The women's world title is now. Triple threat rules. That means first person to get the pinfall or submission wins the belt. Heather Storm will be looking... To be a new star and be that champion. We're going to find out though how good this girl really is. We'll see how good she is. Lady J, the women's, or the, 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 the female mafia member, ladies and gentlemen. The female mafia member. I generally think, awesome, I generally think fucking Twitch is on a nightmare today. Right? I mean, they've pissed me off today.
Here comes the women's champion. Mercedes, the woman who beat Lady J last season at Living for the Glory, the WrestleMania show. But we will see. Here we go, Mercedes. That's right, Mercedes, GMW Women's World Championship. I have no idea what happened there. But the GMW Women's World title is on the line. The Women's World Championship up for grabs. Heather Storm, Lady J. Mercedes, Lady J. Right, three-way triple threat match, here we go. What a shot that was. This is for the women's title, so whoever wins it will be women's champion. Whoever wins it will be the women's champion. Slam. Lady J to the outside. Well, then, uh, jawbreaker, clothesline sends Mercedes to the outside. And a drop kick. Basement style turnbuckle drop kick. And a head scissors. Slam. Kick to the back. Lady J in control. Mercedes on the outside. Heather Storm with that. Some spear by Heather Storm. Heather Storm be looking for revenge. In some capacity as well. Storm now. Snap suplex. Beautiful. Kick to the gut. And a slam. Very unorthodox slam there from Heather Storm. Lady J with Heather Storm. Ooh, the jawbreaker. Pasty Phil, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that, man. Give me a shout out. It's alright. I appreciate that little raid, man. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate that one. A little nightmares, good grief. Oh, with a slam. A big slam. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Two, and only a two count, though. Hurricane, thank you for the follow up. I'm on the road to 1K followers on this channel, guys. 
to say. That is my goal, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do after that. Like I said, this is GMW. We're fighting through the pain tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Pasty Phil, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, we're fighting through the pain tonight, ladies and gents. We're fighting through the pain of what that frigging piece of garbage game can do to you. Yeah. Yeah. What he can do, that pasty, uh, that piece of crap game. Like I said, this game, when it first came out, ladies and gentlemen, was unplayable. And I'll say that now. It is playable now, but as you clearly have seen, if you're watching this on the live stream, this will be edited out for the, for the uh, Facebook and YouTube. Um, but if you've clearly seen from the live stream and everything like that, you know this game has its moments. So we fight through it, guys. We work through it. That's what this GMW is all about. When shit like that happens, we fight through it. I fight through it. And this is my first uh, stream on Saturdays. Well, first GMW stream on Saturdays. Like I say, I don't do no more pay-per-views on Thursdays. You get two go-home shows and you get the pay-per-view on Saturday as well. Um, normally, I would be on the other side on Facebook doing GMW Underground at this time. But GMW Underground has took a week off today. So yeah, the next GMW Underground will be next Saturday. So I will not be on this channel next Saturday. I'll be over on Facebook. Uh, GMW Underground will be on Facebook. It is a Facebook streamed show. And I had to do it because Facebook, the, the views on Facebook, the numbers on Facebook, don't lie. As well, so yeah. I... Almost the winner's champion there. So yes, I'm on the road to 1K on this channel. Like I say, I've done well so far tonight, guys. All you followers from the Pasty Raid as well. I'm on 19, I'm on 916 now, so I'm doing very well, I'm not far off, I'll more than likely be back here on Tuesday again with more GMW, tomorrow's my day off, and I don't care about Glemish or Facebook or any of that stuff man, Sundays is my day off, I don't know, I might have a day off on Monday as well, we'll see what happens, see what I feel like, uh, I used to have two days off and then I... You know, I decided to up my game. I made myself a New Year's resolution to up my game on the streaming level based on what happened to me in 2020 and everything and what happened in 2020 in general. There's the whippersnapper. As well. Yes, no doubt. So, we'll see what happens on Monday. But I know tomorrow's my day off, so that's a, that's a no-brainer. I refuse to stream on Sundays. I refuse to stream on Sundays, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I say, I'll have to. Like I say, I'm always uh, messing with the schedule and everything. I do want to be on Glemish and check that out next week as well. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I am going to do a test run at some point. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I might watch some streams on there to see how they come across it apparently if you're going to stream on Glenish ladies and gentlemen you need to download OBS not Streamlabs OBS the original OBS because apparently that's the only thing you can use for the time being at least that's the only thing you can use to get um, to my knowledge at least to get uh, to stream on Glimish as well Glimish.tv next week so it drops next Tuesday and I'm hoping to do a stream on that Tuesday before GMW but I don't know what time it drops or what well, drops my time I think it said 11 a.m. Eastern time um, which may very well be uh, 3 o'clock my time I don't know like I say I don't know I'll try but twitch but Tuesday Wednesday Thursday oh yeah I don't, I, I'm not streaming on the same time man I don't do the uh, 
what to call it. And considering I'm an affiliate on this channel, um, I don't trust the rules that uh, Twitch have laid out in respects of affiliates. Um, and being affiliate on this channel, you can't stream on the other channel. So I don't do the, um, what to call it, the streaming at the same time to both channels. Kind of, I don't do that, man. I'll go one or the other. Uh, but I do stream on here, I stream on Facebook, and I'm going to be streaming on Glimish. I'm not going to be taking Glimish seriously just yet. I am going to try it out. Um, but I'm not going to be taking se uh, Glimish seriously just yet because it's an alpha. Okay? And alpha usually means beta. So there's going to be some sides of it. And that needs to be in the ring, by the way. If she'd have done that in the ring, she'd still be women's champion. But, yeah, it, it can't be that way yet. Because, like I say, it's not going to be the... Uh, it's going to be... It's, 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 it's probably going to be like what Mixer was. You know, Mixer was in beta, blah, 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 and all that. And it's going to take about... Maybe six months, maybe less, for it to get out of Alpha. Which, I, like I said, which I'm guessing is beta. So there's going to be... It's not going to be perfect overall. But we're going to test it and see what's up. I'm going to test it and see what's up. Um, but you have to get OBS Studio to do that. Unfortunately. Like I said, I'm, I would imagine it'll be on Streamlabs at some point. But apparently I've been told it's OBS Studios. And I've got a sub button over there as well. So I'd like to try and make the most of that, if you know what I mean. EA! <laughs> Indeed. So, even though this is not for the women's title in 2K terms, this is for the women's championship, I will hand the belts over to whoever wins the matches. If there is a new champion, I will hand the belts over after this whole pay-per-view is done. So we'll see what happens. Beautiful clothesline by Lady J. So yes, I stream normally on here Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I'd like to maybe do a little bit more, maybe do an extra one. I don't know. Um, like I said, but at least I know what I'm doing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Before I started jumping over to Facebook and dabbling on Facebook and all that, and also going to be dabbling on Twitch, on a Glimish, I never knew what to stream on Mondays. I used to always have the stream and then have the two days off, but I never knew what to do on a Mondays, which always annoyed the hell out of me. Um, so that's why I've left Mondays open. That's why I always leave Mondays open in case I might want a day off, because I never know what to stream on Mondays, man. Fridays 50 50 uh, I know what I stream on Saturdays it's usually GMW whether it's on here or on Facebook but uh, I never know what to stream on on um, I never know what to stream on Saturdays and Heather Storm is your new women's champion remember that she's the new women's champion and I will hand the belts over we have a new champion her name is Heather Storm. She is the new Women's World Champion. Okay. So that's w another new champion tonight. We've had Adrian Webb winning the Hardcore Championship. And we've had Heather Storm winning the Women's Title. As well. So we've had Heather Storm winning the Women's Championship. Like I say, she will be the women's champion. She is the women's champion right now. She hasn't got the belt with her because of 2K. But I'll make the right. I'll write the wrong at the end of the stream. Right, get that off. Let's move on to the tag title match. So here we go. Tag team championship match. Tonight, ladies and gents, this is not for the tag team championships in 2K World, but we're not dealing with. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face after doing that. I love it. I love it so much. But yes, this is not for the tag team titles here in 2K World, but this is for the tag team championships. 
And War and Alex Siva hope victories over these guys. Hopefully, uh, <coughs> after shock, they right the wrong. <coughs> yeah, indeed. What the hell? I hate, I, I hate how. I really do hate how you have to refresh things just to make it work. I hate that. So fucking stupid. How you have to refresh things just to make them work. Or make things, you know, register. So fucking stupid that. So I could be on here, for example, on my browser. I could be on Twitch. And I could get, say, a new follower. Right? Say, for example, it's on 1916 on my followers list now here on Twitch. And a new follower could pop up. And it might not register. You know, it might not register. It might just still say 1916. You have to refresh it to get it to work and it'll end up saying 1970. I fucking hate that. I really do. I'm sorry. It annoys the hell out of me. My stream froze up on my channel here, on my laptop here. And I've just refreshed it so we're good to go now. So fucking stupid. Anyway. Really is stupid. Anyway. Aftershock, number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles. These two monsters. New attire too, by the way. A different look the to the number one contenders. For one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 628 pounds. Aftershock. I'll finish it off for you then, you Nimrod. Anyway, hopefully these two will be my World Tag Team Champions. They'll be looking to be the World Tag Team Champions. Tonight here in GMW, all the pain money can buy. Like I said, I will right the wrong when this pay-per-view is over. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid, that. It really is. Oh, and Pasty, thank you for the, uh, for the host as well. Yes, oh, thank you for the raid. You've got the raid on there. Raided me with two as well. Big thank you to everybody who's hosted and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm just a little confused. This fucking laptop over here, man. It's a piss take. It really is an absolute piss take. Big thank you to everybody who was auto hosted me and stuff like that as well. I do appreciate you. Like I said, this is my first stream on Saturdays, pay per view wise at least. And there'll be another one as well. The next pay-per-view here in GMW will be King of the Ring as well. King of the Ring will be back end of this month. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you doing that, Pasty. Um, tweet it, stream out. Love it. Um, as well. And the next pay-per-view will be in March. It will be yes, the World Tag Team Champions. Let's go. The World Tag Team Champions. God almighty. Um, I am aiming, as I'm doing this right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am aiming the next pay-per-view, which will be King of the Ring, for Saturday the 27th. That's the aim. I might do it a little bit earlier. It's between Saturday the 27th of March and Saturday the 20th of March. One of them dates. I'll make the decision after the show. So that will be the next play, place to be. It's a simulation series. I have no pad here. I just booked the matches. I just booked the matches and move on. This is in there. So this is for the World Tag Team titles, even though it's not, even though in 2K term, even though in 2K terms, it's not for the World Tag Team titles, but it is for the World Tag Team Championships. Are we going to have new champions tonight? Yeah, the BS that went on in this game, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why. Is the reason why we don't have uh, 2K21 this year, this, well, last year. 
Okay. So I don't know when the next wrestling game is coming out, if there is going to be a wrestling game. Because the bullshit that went on in this game is the reason we didn't get 2K21. As well. Because like I said, when this game first dropped, ladies and gentlemen, it was not fun, let me tell you. It was not good. Yeah, this is all simulation series as well, ladies and gents. Yeah, it was terrible. It was embarrassing. And like I said, I normally, with this series, I normally do this series the minute the game comes out. I have about a couple of weeks to prepare the, to prepare the roster and, and whatnot and prepare everything. Um, and then we just get cracking. We just get right into it. Um, you know, we get right into the new season and that. I have a couple of weeks to prepare for it and everything. And then we just get right into the new season. When this f game first dropped, I couldn't do that. I had to wait until December. Because even though it's on now, the creation of the belts um, segment or the uh, option on here, the creation of the belts did not drop when the game dropped it came in a patch so it had to we had to wait until december i had to wait until december to drop the series because the patch it came out in a patch which was about december time so december of 2019 so we couldn't do anything and um, i say we because me and local joe as well he does lcw as well and um, we couldn't do anything because I mean, we could have, we could have just created that. We could have created everything and then used WWE belts and, and called them GMW titles. But then we would just thought, nah, it'd be stupid, you know. Oh yes, you know, uh, John Moxley is my GMW World Heavyweight Champion, even though he's walking around with a WWE title from about 1998. Just didn't. It just wouldn't have looked right. So me, me and my man waited patiently, and when it dropped. We made the belts and we got, you know, we got things, we got it all cracking, if you will, in December. We were going to do it, but it was just a big, huge delay thanks to uh, 2K stupidity as well. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Coming up next, three-way dance, world television title on the line, Cam Martin, Rhino and Loco Joe. Also, two out of three falls of grudge match. Uh, no holes barred grudge match as well between Killer and Billy Paragon. And yes, yours truly challenging Moxley for the World Heavyweight Championship inside a steel cage. As well. For those of you that are new to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, whether it's here, whether it's on Facebook, or whether it's going to be on Gl Glimish as well, I am new. I am a variety streamer. My number one thing when it comes to streaming is GMW, because uh, people seem to like it as well. People seem to like GMW, whether it's here on t Twitch or on Facebook as well, um, and YouTube and all that stuff as well. People seem to enjoy it. So, yeah. In that respect as well, I am a variety streamer though. On a Wednesdays, I do a playthrough here on Twitch. And at the moment right now, I am doing Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Which, trust me, is a joy, let me tell you. I forgot how mental that game is, or that story mode is. I didn't realise... I mean, I did the original version of it. I did the original version of it. I hope so too. Uh I play all sorts as well. Like I say, I don't hate, I appreciate. But I play, it, it's mostly on this channel though, it's GMW Tuesdays and Thursdays. Unless I'm working, doing other stuff as well, then I have to rearrange the schedule. But either way, the number one priority, as far as my streaming goes, is GMW. So, if you don't get it on the Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get it eventually. You'll probably get it on, it'll probably be Wednesday or Thursday or Wednesdays or Fridays or whatever. I just have to make some rearrangements. Maybe I'll have to cancel something f for that week and then go on there. But the number one thing when it comes to me and my streaming is GMW as well. 
at the moment right now though as far as playthrough goes i'm i'm doing a uh red dead redemption undead nightmare and like i say i forgot how crazy that game is oh that story is i forgot how crazy it is and it is crazy um also as well um, at the moment right now like i said the main thing i do on facebook is gmw underground um, at the moment right now i've started doing a playthrough battlefield 5 which is annoying as hell um as well i might be looking to do something else this monday if i go over to facebook um i might just take a day off i might just say sod it and take a day off on monday i'll see what i feel like um see what kind of mood i am in when i wake up monday morning uh, but yeah like i said i'm in the middle of that but battlefield five, battlefield five is a nightmare i probably should have played the other battlefields first before that but like i say i play all sorts i don't hate i appreciate and i'm a variety streamer i also do a podcast as well which is wrestling podcast and um, i'm slowly bringing that back um, as well by the way big thank you for the views on facebook on that podcast as well that i did last time as well really do appreciate it i've got another one coming out which i'll probably record i wanted to record it today but i just couldn't be pestered so i'll probably record it either tonight or tomorrow it's a bit of a rant this one that i'm, that I'm gonna do it's a bit of a rant i'm not gonna <laughs> sugarcoat it it's a bit of a rant so if i don't do it tonight i'll do it tomorrow um but yeah and i'll release it on monday as well i really do hope i can get to test glimish out on tuesday man i really do and um, before my gmw show that i do on the tuesdays as well I really do. I hope I get the opportunity to test it as well. Um, like I said, I've got OBS Studios hooked up, but I don't know when it's going to drop. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on it because I can't do it early, early doors because I'm doing a. I've got, I'm in a meeting at one o'clock my time um, that day. What a glim! Yeah, uh, Facebook. I'll I'll put them up for you, uh, my man. I'll put them up for you because I've got them in promotion. Uh, pasty. I've got them up in promotion here. Uh, there's my Glimish. Um, there's my gamer tag. If you want to add me on the gamer tags, um, like for PC, Steam, or whatever, like I can say I play everything. And there's my there's my uh, Facebook as well. If you want to uh, jump on that as well. So there you go. As well. I've definitely learned a lot when it comes to streaming, man. Oh yeah, like I say, it's up to you what happens. I mean, Twitch is my num is my main home. Like I say, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's my main home. But there's one thing I've learned. I mean, I've learned a lot from Mixer going down as well, man. I've learned not to stick to that one that one stream man because i had over 2000 followers on mixer man and it went down and i'm not gonna lie i took it a little bit roughly i ain't gonna lie but i've bounced back and everything and like i say uh, even though i've got an affiliate and everything like that i'm not looking for st stream uh, subscriber goals yet subscribers subscriptions are welcome on this channel don't get me wrong they are and i will love you for subscribing if you do do it at your own risk but i will be getting subscriber goals for this channel as well because i do want to make some emotes um for the but i can't do that yet i need 15 to do the the next emote thing i've got three emote, emotes already up to get another emote slot i need 15 subscribers and um, so i'm not focused on that yet like i say i'm all about getting to 1k followers at first yeah well I, when they announced that it was over i did one stream and then the next and even I, even i was in my schedule still 
I did a stream on the Tuesday and normally I would have done the next stream which was on the Wednesday on Mixer but I didn't waste no time uh, Pasty. I did that stream on Tuesday the goodbye stream I did on Tuesday for Mixer and then the next day I was on Twitch I was like fuck it did it? I never knew that I never knew that I know a lot of shit went down when Mixer went down, like. At least from what I've read, anyway, and what I've got. A lot of shit went down. A lot of racists, racism, that went, supposedly went down as well. And, um, you know, everybody who was a partner was a slave to them. And not only that, they fucked the partners over too, man. I mean, you could be part... If you were a mixer partner on there, you could probably be partner on Facebook as well. Because they, they did an open season on that as well. But uh, to be partner on Facebook if you uh, were over there. And I'm far from ready to be partner. If I'm, if, even if I'm going to push for partner on Facebook, man. I'm far from ready to be, up that, to be on that level yet. Like I say, I'm still getting used to Facebook. When they signed the big names, that was a mistake. <sighs> and by the way, Aftershock new World Tag Team Champions. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Pasty. You could be right. I'm not saying you're not right. Um, I genuinely think their mistake was they tried to compete with Twitch too much yeah Ninja went there for a bit yeah but I think they tried to compete with Twitch too much that's what they were trying to do what they should have done was build from the ground up and focused on them and then maybe five maybe ten years down the road depending on where they are see where they are down there and then maybe try to compete with Twitch but I think they tried to compete with Twitch a little bit too early hence with the um the ninja bit as well you know ninja and shroud going over there they should have focused on themselves first before anything else um you know establish themselves as a platform they didn't do that like i said all they cared about at least from my perspective at least all they gave a shit about was competing with twitch that's all it was just twitch 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 what can we do to compete with twitch yeah, focus on the people there. That's why when everything went down, they didn't tell the friggin' partners. Because if you go on YouTube and look it up on YouTube, a lot of partners that were on that platform raged and were very upset about what went down and everything. Three-way dance, TV title match. That's three new champions tonight. New tag champions, new hardcore champion, new women's champion. Are we going to have a new TV champion? We'll find out. Yeah, but they should have focused on the people that were there. They should have focused on their partners and and build the platform and make the platform establish the platform to be maybe on the level of a YouTube, maybe on the level of a Mixer, uh, maybe on the level of a Twitch or anything like that. At the moment right now, whether we like it or not, and we probably don't like it, Twitch is the number one platform to stream on. I'll, you heard me say it here. You know, you heard me say it here. Twitch is the number one stream to platform uh, to platform to stream on. You know, like it or not, just, spit, just spitting out facts here. But that was their downfall, Mixer's downfall. They focused on competing with Twitch too much. They should have just, like you said, focused on their people, focused on whoever was there. If there was an opportunity to get some people to come over to Mixer, like they did with Ninja, then all right, fine, go for it. But they should have focused on there as well, but they didn't. All they gave a shit about was competing with Twitch. And they did it far too early. You've got to establish yourself. You've got to establish yourself. When you're new around here. And yet, Twitch had, uh, Mixer had been around for a while. You know, because they were called Beam at one point as well. Uh, but they should have really, really built themselves in there. I was over there, man. Like I said, I got to over 2,000 followers over there. 
and then everything went to shit. Right? And that's why I've learned. That's why I'm on here. That's why I'm going to be on. Well, I'm going to try Glemish out. That's why I'm on Facebook. Like I said, I'm, I've learned a lot, man. I'm not sticking to that one platform, man. So, I will promote where I'm at as best I can. You know, I refuse, to, I refuse to stream on Trovo. I, I don't get that site. I'm sorry. A mobile site like that and people streaming over there and apparently you can make some money up. The site's shit. I'm sorry. Trovo is shit. And I, I, no offense to anybody who's over there streaming on Trovo. I really don't get that site. I'm sorry. If I'm going to, if you're going to see me stream, it's probably going to be on here, Glemish, maybe YouTube, maybe my YouTube channel as well, but and Facebook too. Like I say, I've got five thousand followers on Facebook. <laughs> you know, I can't neglect them. I I put premieres up on there. You know, replays of this, maybe other stuff that I do as well. And I stream here and there as well. So, it's a balance. That's what it's all about, balance. I, I, I don't get Trovo, I'm sorry. Trovo to Misa. It's a, it's a fail. I don't get how people can, you know, try out a mobile site. Yeah, big deal, your partner over there. Big deal, this, this and this. It's like, it's like when Mixer went down, Trovo were like giving out partnerships left and right, in my, from what I saw at least. Yeah, I, I just don't get, I just didn't get that site. I had a look at it, don't get me wrong, and I was like, ooh, maybe this is good and everything. And then I realized it was a mobile site, and I was like, and not everyone on there, on Trovo, not everyone on Trovo is English. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. Um, I mean, the one thing I do like about Glemish, though, and I'll tell you that when I come back because I'm going to the toilet. This is a three-way dance, ladies and gentlemen. It's for the World TV title. Just give me a sec, guys. Because I got to go. That's a sec. Right, and from Charlotte, North Carolina, World TV champion, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you may lose that tonight. Right, as I was saying, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go. Like I said, you gotta go, you gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm back. Right, as I was saying, the, the one thing I like about Glimish, there's a lot of things I like about Glimish. But the one thing I like about Glimish, by the way, if you're on Glimish as well, uh, check your payments on there. Um, the, the payment section of your Glimish account and make sure you fill in the tax form on there. Because um, if you fill in that tax form and send it off, you'll get a sub button. I got my sub button today. Uh, yesterday, in fact. I filled the forms out and about a couple of hours later, I got a sub button. So. Um, I told Hash as well about that as well in Discord. <laughs> and he didn't expect to get it so quick. And when I told him during the stream that he, got, that he got his sub button, one, he liked the fact that I checked, and two, he was happy as Larry. So I thought that was hilarious. So, like I said, what I'm saying is, guys, is this. One thing I like about Glemish is they recognize, not a lot of these streaming platforms, I don't know about Twitch, I believe Facebook doesn't, um, not sure about. Um, I'm not sure about um, what to call it. YouTube. Don't give a rat's ass about Trovo. Um, but not a lot of these streaming platforms um, recognise Malta as a uh, country. And last time I checked, Malta was a country. But apparently, not a lot of these streaming platforms recognise Malta as a country. 
Glemish too. Glemish too, so... Fair play to them for that. I have to say, fair play to them for that. Yeah. Fair play. I can say, not a lot of people... Uh, not a lot of people um, do that. I don't know why people don't recognise Malta as a fucking... Oh, um, like I can say, Glemish. Oh, you missed what I said. Uh, Glemish. I'm just talking about Glemish there. Uh, Glemish is. Um, not a lot of these streaming sites. YouTube, maybe, I don't know. Twitch, don't know. Um, I believe it's Facebook. Don't give a rat's ass about Trovo. Not a lot of these sites um, recognize Malta as a country. And last time I checked, Malta is a country. Um, uh, what to call it? But uh, Glemish do. Glemish recognise Malta as a country, so fair play to them for that as well. Not a lot of people do that. Why, I don't know. Yes, it is a country, uh, but apparently, from what I've got, apparently Facebook don't recognise it as a country. I don't know about Twitch, I don't know about YouTube, again, don't give a rat's ass about trouble. But, from what I've got, Facebook do not recognise uh, Malta as a country. As far as the gaming side of it goes. Yes, because I have got I know somebody who's a partner over there who streams on his, his name's Hasher Hollock. Um, and he's from, and he lives in Malta. And they don't recognise that as a country. Which is bollocks, quite frankly. But uh, from what he tells me anyway, but like I say, Malta is a country. And Glemish recognise that. Glemish recognise that. Yeah, a lot of people have been hit hard with their uh, mixer going down last last season, uh, last year, man. One person in particular who I've got nothing but respect for and I admire a great deal. Uh, uh, Rifle LP. Got nothing but respect for him. Um, but he he's he's been struggling here on Twitch, man. He really has. Like I said, I, lo I like the guy. I love the guy. I think he's a good dude. Like I said, I've worked with him a few times as well, stream wise, as well. Uh, done some collabs with him and and that when we were on Mixer together and everything. He's a great dude. I'm also part of his Discord as well when it comes to art. But uh, yeah, man. He's been struggling, man. That's why he hasn't been streaming long. He used to stream all the time. Oh yeah, small country. I don't say it's. I'm not saying it's. It's not. It's not big country. The country just outside of Italy. But um, it's a country. No matter how big, small, medium, large it is, it's a country. But yeah. And yeah, like I'm saying, it's it's it's, it's, it's a shame because he was a mix of partner. And now he's struggling, man. He's been struggling. It's, it, it, it is a shame to see that. It really is. I hope he bounces back, but it has been very weird seeing him not get... Uh... Oh, I, I, I did exactly the same. Um, Pasty. I did exactly the same. I saw it as a learning curve. I mean, when I was on here, before I jumped to Mixer, went over to Mixer full-time, I was on here. I couldn't get past 170 followers. I was stuck on 170 followers. I couldn't get past. And I jumped over in the mixer, got 2,000 followers, learned my expertise in terms of promoting, networking, and what to do to get followers. Um, and not do the retard way, and let's jump into people's and self promote without their permission and whatever. Right? And now I'm back, and now look at me. And Locos won the TV. Well, he's eliminated Rhino. So it's down to him and uh, thing as well. Um, but like I say, I le I took it as a learning curve. That's why I'm. That's why my goal at the moment is to get 1k followers. At the moment, just get 1k followers. At the moment, that's all I want. Everything else I can work with, I can work on when I get the 1k followers. Because like I say, I'm building the channel. It was just me building the channel. That's all I was trying to do. Just build the channel. You know, rebuild. 
if you will. Once I get the 1K followers, I'm fine. I'm fine with every, anything that happens after that. I don't give a shit. I just want to get to 1K followers. Just build this. And like I say, I couldn't friggin', I couldn't get fucking past 170 followers on this channel before I moved the mixer. I went moved the mixer, came back, and now look at me. I'm nearly at 1K. So you learn from your mistakes in life. Like I say, you can't learn from your mistakes unless you make them. And I've definitely learned from that. When it comes to streaming, at least, anyway. Because, like I say, I'm not sticking to one channel no more. Like I say, you see me here, you see me on Facebook, you see me on Glemish, you may see me on YouTube. You won't see me on Trovo. Sorry, Trovo people, but... Eh, eh, you know? Like I say, I'm just getting my shit out there as best I can. No matter what it is I'm doing, I'm going to get it out there. Best I can. And like I say, I'm not going to do too much. Too much. I will take days off if I need to. There's one thing I promised myself, and I'm sure you will agree with me on this, Pasty, as well. There's one thing I will um, promise myself. One thing I promised myself. Please, 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 please do not burn yourself out. I'm from the northeast, my man. I'm from the northeast of England. A little place called Middlesbrough. Or as we call ourselves up here, Smoggies. Yes, I'm from the borough. Yes. Middlesbrough in the northeast of England. Yes. Oh, you're from Cornwall, nice. Hence the word pasty, I'm sure. <laughs> pasties are from Cornwall, right? Good Cornish pasties and shit, shit like that. Shut up, Walker, you're getting yourself hungry. Anyway. Bodmin, never heard of it, but I've heard of Cornwall. Yeah. Yep, I'm about an hour away from Newcastle. Well... Train wise, if you walk to Newcastle, fuck knows where, where it is. You for me. And you say, one of these men will walk out television champion. Your first job is making past. Again, hence the world pasty. Oh, I don't mind a Cornish. I think Cornish pasties are my favourite, man. Can't be the good Cornish pasty, man. I don't mind the corned beef pasties and the other pasties, but Cornish is where it's at, in my opinion. All the Americans right now are probably watching this thinking, what the fuck are pasties? <laughs> You're missing out, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful drop, toe hold. One of these guys will walk out with that television title. Who is it going to be? Even 2K has not scheduled it for the World TV title. Roundhouse kick. German suplex. Bear with me a sec, ladies and gents. Oh, I've still got my set. Anyway. Right. Oh, kick. Come on, Cam. My first job was working in school. That's a part primary school up here. My second job now was working at Millsborough. Well, at the moment right now, I have no idea where the hell I'm going to be going. Or when I'm going back, considering the pandemic and everything. Beautiful right there. That's the local boot. Come on, Loco. Loco looking to regain the belt he lost to Cam Martin on Underground, which was the world television title. Oh! This is Loco's chance to regain the belt. He's only made uh, Rhino tap out. And he's made Cam tap out too. And he has regained the world television title. 
Local Joe is now your world television champion for a second time. This Joe is now a two-time world champion. Yeah. Yeah, you can't you, you, you can't class that. No. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I, I agree with that. So Loco Joe is your world television champion. We've had four new champions tonight. Loco Joe regains the TV championship. Aftershock win the world tag titles. Heather Storm is your brand new women's champion. And Adrian Webb wins the hardcore championship. Am I going to win the world title later on? I hope so. Right. Very pleased about that. Very pleased about that. Yeah, big thank you to Sky as well, guys. If you don't know who Sky is, <laughs> then uh, whatever. She was playing uh, Rocket League earlier on today. I was lurking in her stream while I was preparing for this. Uh, she was playing Rocket League. She mostly plays Fortnite. With all due respect to her, I don't know how anyone can play that game, to be honest. That game is so dead. First couple of seasons, it was fine. Then, boy, did it go downhill from there. I would imagine it, it looks fun to play. I'm not saying Fortnite doesn't look uh, fun to play. Yeah. That's the first time I met you. And, yeah, I had a feel. I have a feeling. I mean, no disrespect, Pasty, and I'm glad for the raid and everything. But that raid you gave me. I'm part of the Sky fam. Well, I am too. I met Sky through Cybertank. Uh, a streamer on here called Cybertank Girl. Uh, and I've been a part of the Sky fam since. I don't know if I'm in their Discord. I'll have to check. Uh, I don't know if she has a Discord, to be honest with you. But anyway. Yeah, she normally plays... Uh, what I call it. And with all, like I said, I'm very grateful for the, uh, I'm very grateful for the, uh, what I call it, the raid and that, don't get me wrong. But I have a funny feeling Sky had something to do with that raid. Convincing. Well, you're a mod, nice one. Yeah, I try not to be mods in other, in other I try to be mods in other streams, but I'm mostly focused on this. Um, as well. Like I said, I have a funny feeling she had something to do with that, with you, with you coming over here. But like I said, I'm not saying that I'm not ungrateful about it. I love it, but I can't help but feel that if you know what I mean. Right, Killer, two-time television champion, is going about to go one-on-one -on -one with uh, Billy Powgan. This is your co-main event of the evening, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is a two out of three falls match, and it's no holes barred. So. No holes barred, two out of three falls match. It's extreme rules, but the pinfall must take place the in the ring. Pinfall, match. submission, whatever, and it's in the ring. It's an extreme rules Texas. match, two out of three Play falls. Pinfall, submission takes pounds. place in the ring. The and these two have been going at it ever since Killer came back, quite frankly, because Killer dethroned Billy Paragon to win the world television title for the second time, only for Killer to lose it to local Joe and ever since then Billy Pagan has told me that he wants to be the world TV champion one more time he wants his TV title back but to do that he has to go through this man because he knows if he goes for it this man will probably interfere he ain't stupid so appreciate it it's been a very quiet night tonight ladies and gentlemen chat wise at least but uh, I appreciate everybody who stopped by Lurk to do all good stuff as well. Appreciate it. And all the followers as well. Got some good followers tonight, which I'm very pleased about. Like I said, I'm on 916 at the moment. Just need to double check that because, well, Twitch is a pain in the ass and so is my laptop. And like I say, I hate when you have to refresh things just to make things work. Makes no fucking sense, that thing. Yeah, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what um, I'm definitely interested in seeing what uh, what a card brings to the table, Glamish brings to the table, because the site's got potential. 
No, hey, I appreciate it. Like I said, I am not ungrateful for anything. I appreciate it. I just had a feeling she had a she had something to do with that. But I appreciate it. Like I said, you you weren't even following me. You weren't even following me. So you are following me now, but you weren't even following me at the point. At the point. But now, you, like I said, now you are. So like I said, I appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. I don't even know you stream. I saw it a few times in the uh, mod, in their chats and everything, but I never knew you streamed. I just thought you were mod. But now I do, and I followed you as well. And I look forward to checking you out. Oh, yeah, like I say, I do it as well. Normally, I have people who I raid. Normally, I have people who I host. Sometimes, at times, I just can't be bothered with the raids or the host. I just let my other host do its work, you know? You know, I let my other host do its money, and its money. You know, wink, wink. But, um... Oh, yeah, she's she's a good girl. She's a nice girl, no doubt. She, she's always lurking in here when, when she's working, man. When she realises I'm on, at least. Like I said, two out of three falls, no holes barred. Pinfall must take place in the ring, or pinfall submission. Yeah, but like I said, I met her through uh, Cybertank, the, the the streamer formerly known as Sweet Angel. And uh, I met her on Mixer as well. Yes, and I'm definitely part of the Sky fam. Like I said, she plays a lot of Fortnite, man. A NAF game was good, and like I say, it does look fun to play. But it does look annoying as well. I think with Warzone as well, I mean, I like Warzone. Don't get me wrong. And I want to get back into Warzone. But the thing that's put me off is all the hackers on that game. That's the thing that's put me off in that fucking game, man. Really? I mean, I play a lot of Cold War. Um, I, I play a lot of Cold War and, and that. Don't get me wrong. I, and, I'm, and, and for a Call of Duty game, I'm loving Cold War. I'm loving Cold War at the moment. Um, for a Call of Duty game, at least. Um, because I've never been really a big fan of Call of Duty. But uh, yeah. I want to get back into Warzone though, but like I say, the hackers, the hackers really, yeah. Uh, and I've just started playing that. I haven't played it for a while, that Rogue Company, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't played it yet. I've only played it about once, but I've, I've just started getting the hang of that. That's like playing Gears though with the, uh, the, uh, the loose aiming on the game and the free aim on the game, because uh, Gears 5 is hard to play. Um, Gears game is probably hard to play, but Gears, I mean, Gears 5, for example, when you're playing the, uh, the team games and everything like that, the, or the multiplayer, whatever it is you're playing, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to aim on that. It's, it's really hard to aim on that. And I think I'll have to lose my sensitivity on that to spear. What? Oh, not even one count. Um, I'll have to lose my sensitivity up on the. Uh, what to call it on the uh, Call of Duty as well. Because I've got the sensitivity up, I think I may have it up a little bit too much on my aims on the gun snake. I can get I can get kills, don't get me wrong. But I think it's a little bit too uh, too much. Right. I'd love to know who's on in the moment. What's coming up next is the uh, main event, ladies and gentlemen. Me in the cage match versus uh, Moxley. I'd love to know who's on in the moment. Right, cover. Me two count. Oh, and a jawbreaker. Kill it. And a forearm. Arm drag. Go to the midsection. 
What the hell is this? A very unorthodox uh, roll through. Very unorthodox. And Killer looking to get back in it. Close line. Close line again. Is it this two out of three falls? And it's no holes barred, ladies and gentlemen. The only way you can win, though, is by pinfall or submission, and they have to take place in the ring. Other than that, there's no disqualifications, no countouts, no nothing. Just win by pinfall or submission. Like I say, it's a two out of three falls match. And like I say, the next pay-per-view as well, ladies and gents. Next time GMW will be this Tuesday on the channel, same time as today. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and then I'll be back on Saturday on Facebook with Underground. I guess, well, GMW Underground will be back on Saturday as well, so we'll see what happens on that. I'll be back this week as well with uh, Killer Goes 1 0 up, 1 fall up. Um, I'll be back as well on Wednesday with Undead Nightmare. What a joy as well. Killer just beat the hell out of Paragon. Killer will be looking to be in the King of the Ring. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, March 20th or March 27th will be King of the Ring. That's his version of the blackout. As he got two straight falls. One, two. And Killer beats Paragon. So, yes. Next pay-per-view, ladies and gents, will be... Oh. I don't think Paragon liked that. Killer gets the victory, though. And yes, Paragon hits the referee. The frustration kicking in on Billy Paragon as well. Just a little thing, a little quick message, guys, before we get to the next match, which is the main event. Uh, I don't think this is over between Paragon and Killer, by the way, but we'll see. Um, just a little quick message, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you of what these streams are, whether they're here on Facebook, whether they're here on YouTube, uh, YouTube, Twitch or Glemish as well. So just look, play this. Bullying in any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with, any bullying will be an instant ban. This is a positive stream slash community and none of that is welcome. Please enjoy the show. So yes, any negativity... Yep. Any negativity, any of that crap taken away somewhere else, it will be dealt with. Any bullying of any constant will be in an instant ban. No, no need to apologise. No need to apologise. Like I say, any bullying of any kind will result in an instant ban. No matter what it is, out the door. As well. This is a positive stuff. I have been surrounded by too many fake people lately. Somebody who calls himself a friend and everything like that, but turns out they're just fake. You know, that kind of stuff as well. It doesn't matter to me. I don't give a shit. You come in here, you're positive, you're respectful. At all times in my streams, if you're not, get the fuck out. And if I don't do it, and if I can't do it, my mods will. And I do have mods. They're not here all the time, but when they are here... They'll deal with you because they have my full permission to do so. So I have my full permission to do so. So here's the deal, ladies and gents. Yes, yeah, Sammy. Um, this is for the world title. This is your main event of the evening. Can I make it five out of five? Let's find out. Leader. The boss, the following yours truly. Is a That's my Twitter down match. there as well, at Tony underscore walk. Let's speak of Twitter. The There's my Newcastle socials. Montine, England, in as well. Get me on the Twitter, get me on the tweeter. The, uh, the rules there. The other thing that just popped up there, ladies and gentlemen, was GMW. Those are the rules to get onto this series as well. Um, and also... There's my Discord as well. My Discord is not an active uh, area, but it helps you keep it keeps you up to date with who was who was on there. Um, 
keeps you up to date with me being on and who's on me being on stream and that. Um, and also, ladies and gentlemen, it also there's rules on there if you join. But that is, but the Discord is now mainly for the the GMW thing as well. The rules on there as well, because if you have an Xbox, you need to get yourself on there and stick your formula in the join GMW section as well. Like I say, I have no. Um, like I say, it's not an active Discord. Um, but it's a Discord. Like I say, it keeps up to date with me. And if you have any issues in th with that Discord, or if you want to talk to me privately, my Discord DM is always open. I might not respond to you quickly. I might not respond to you straight away. But I will respond. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio. Like I said, weighing in at 220. I, have to, I, might, I might have to bring back the app for that Discord as well. I have to figure that out over the weekend. Or later tonight when I go off stream. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yes, there's my there's my world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, hopefully he won't be after tonight. This gets me doing my head in since freaking uh, living for the glory. I screwed this man out of the world championship of living for the glory. Thanks to his executive VP Cody Rose beating me and making me tap out, he gets an opportunity to face Hannibal Black. For the world champion, for the right to face the world champion on the very first edition of, of Underground, he wins, goes to the pay per view, beats Big Amish controversially, and now he's walking around with my world title. And hopefully, I will end this tonight as well. And even though it's not scheduled according to 2K, due to technical issues, it's for the world championship. And it's first blood as well, so I have to make Mr. Big Shot here bleed. And if I do that, I walk out the world champion. And I become GMW world champion. And I'm also, as well, the current LCW world champion too. And by the way, speaking of LCW, um, I was hoping he'd be here tonight, but he's having issues at the moment health-wise. Because uh, I went into his stream yesterday and he wasn't commentating yesterday. Uh, due to health issues, ladies and gents, but uh, there's Mr. LCW as well. Mr. LCW as well, he does this, his show is LCW Local Crazy Wrestling. Uh, I went into his stream yesterday, he did chaos yesterday, but he didn't commentate because he was ill. So I think he wants to do that now just to, so he can keep up to date with everything that's gone on with uh, GMW, with uh, LCW and that. Because he has been falling behind on the GMW schedule lately. And rightly so, because he's been ill. And like I say, priorities come first. You come first in that. But, uh, yeah, he's had a rough couple of weeks as local. A very uh, rough couple of weeks. So I've got some editing to do after this stream, which is fine. And the edited version of this stream as well will be up on the channel, so don't worry about it as well. I'll put the edited version up on the channel, it's fine. Moxley in control at the moment, like I say, it's first blood. With this press, beat the hell out of him. Get that world's championship. Oh, there's the regal neckbreaker. I can't love that one. Very new pop of Orthodox over there. Uh, see who's on, so I can drop the radar. I might go to uh, seal the uh, Sealed uh, TV. Good guy. Absolutely good guy. Very chill too as well, man. Very chill. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, see what else is up. Uh, that's still to come. Um, John Moxley, most truly. That's right. You can say 
It's the first blood match. Boot to the midsection. I thought he was going for the pile driver. Hits the pedigree. Gotta love that. Oh, don't do this. Please pull me off. Moxley, I beg you pull me off. This is why I don't have cage matches that often, man. Pull me off, Mox. Good lad. Pull me off. There we go. Good lad, Moxley. Never thought I'd say that. It's a first blood match. And fucking this game is just ridiculous. There's a knee. It's a, it's a first blood match. Boot to the midsection. Close line. There you go. Back in business. Yo, what up, crowd? Newly crowned hardcore champion. I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna go for something. I'll go through the. Uh, what I call it after this match. The. Uh, and I won the title. <laughs> yeah. I am the champion. I am the champion. I am the champion. Your man won the title. Your man's a champion, by the way, Mr. Crow. And I'm going to explain during this. So, yes, even though in 2K terms, due to technical issues, um, due to t technical issues um, today, uh, due to technical issues, um, in 2K terms, this wasn't for the world title, but this was scheduled to be for the world championship, and it was for the world title. So now, you are looking at your world champion. Me. I am now GMW world champion and LCW world champion. I wrote the wrong. And I am the man. That's right. Undisputed champion, ladies and gentlemen. GMW, LCW world champion. I love that t-shirt. Thank you. Which one? The one on the screen or the one that I'm wearing? Are you talking about this? The Hulkamania one? In case you hadn't figured out, ladies and gentlemen, I am a wrestling fan. I'm proud of one. Oh, the wearing. Hulkamania, ladies and gentlemen. The whole reason I watch professional wrestling right there. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what has come down. Now, Matty Owen was meant to make his debut on Tuesday. He was meant to make his debut on Tuesday. Didn't. So he decided to do it tonight. And I'll admit, him and Matt Anderson, he got an impressive victory over him. It was very impressive. So hopefully this will not be the end of that. Poshman Martinez is now walking out with the ladder. He's walking out with the briefcase. He won the ladder match, the eight-man ladder match. So he now cashes. He's now got the contract to cash in for the world title. Byron Black made a 3-0 against Lars Sullivan. Big Blake made his debut tonight, and apparently he was here. He's been brought here by Adrian Webb. Speaking of Adrian Webb, Adrian Webb is now your new hardcore champion. This was for the hardcore championship. 2K terms, it says it isn't. But uh, this was for the hardcore title, and two, and Mr. Adrian Webb is now for the is now your GMW hardcore champion in his final attempt. To get a championship. He is now GMW Hardcore Champion. Heather Storm is now the new women's champion. Pete and Scott Groves, Aftershock, are now the new GMW World Tag Team Champions. Loco Joe regains the world television title. And he's now a two-time TV champion. Killer beats P Billy Paragon. Two out of three falls. This feud ain't over. I've got a funny feeling this feud's not over by a long shot. And yes... Your new GMW World Heavyweight Champion. Me. That's right. I won my own belt tonight. And I didn't want to do it. But Moxley left me no choice. So. That is the end of the stream. Thank you to everybody who's been here. Pasty, Crown and everybody else has popped in. And Sky. Love your face. Thank you for the, thank you for the lurks as well. But I'm just going to write the wrong ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Due to what I call it bullshit. Uh. Just going to write the wrong here. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian Webb, your new hardcore champion. Pleasure's all. Hey, the pleasure's been mine, Pasty. Pleasure's been mine. So tonight, 
We've had Adrian Webb. Stick around as well, guys, just for a second. I'm going to explain what's to come and everything, so hang on tight. And I'm going to change this now. Oh, I don't need to do that, do I? I just do it on here, don't I? Because, uh, so do that. No, so we go to this now. Ah, there we are. So we do it on here. So here's the deal. I am now the World Heavyweight Champion. Right here. That's right. I am now GMW Heavyweight Champion of the World. All right, so there. Loco is once again TV Champion. That's right. Loco Joe is once again World Television Champion as well. The Aftershock are the World T Tag Team Champions. Many congratulations to them. And another one I need to change is this. Because now this belt belongs to Hannah Storm. Or Heather Storm, rather. So there you have it, guys. Five new champions tonight. We have Adrian Webb, who's now the Hardcore Champion. Heather Storm is now the Women's Champion. Scott and Pete Groves, Aftershock, are now the World Tag Team Champions. Local Joe regains the TV Championship. And yours truly is now your World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> so now I run the Shizzo. It's, well, it's all in it as well. But anyway. Right. So that about wraps it up for the first pay-per-view of GMW on a Saturday at least. Uh, big thank you to everybody who's tuned in. Dropped by and said hi and lurked. Pasty, pleasure all my mate. You have absolute spot on as well. Uh, and definitely hope to see you again. And I'll catch one of your streams as well. And hope to see, and I'll probably see you in Sky Stream if I'm about as well. So thank you as always, my man. And uh, just going to stick by right now. I'm going to see who I'm going to drop this host on. See if there's anybody on first. Uh, don't like the fact it goes down. It doesn't go down that much. Right. So let's see who is on. You know what? I said I was going to do it. And I'm going to drop it on him. Because he's an absolute chill dude, guys. You need to go and see this guy. Um, he's a good lad. An absolute good dude. I'm going, to go and I'm going to drop it on him right now. A little bit of a raid. Because uh, like I can see he's an absolute spot on guy. And very relaxed too. Um, and I met this man through... Uh, through uh, Booty Bandit as well. Uh, and I'm going to have a little natter with him as well. He's a really good dude. And uh, like I said, very relaxed, very chilled. And I haven't had the opportunity to talk to him. So it's Sealed uh, sealed Gunu TV. It's called him Sealed. So I'm going to drop this on him right now, guys. I'm going to go and edit this and get rid of all the crap and everything. <sighs> I'll be on Facebook on Monday. Wink, wink, unless I take the day off. And I'll be back here on Tuesday for more GMW. I might even be on here on Monday as well. I haven't decided yet. But if I'm not here on Monday, I'll be definitely here Tuesday. So we'll see what happens, man. And catch you catch you again. Uh, Pasty, thank you again so much. Thanks to everybody who's came in. And I'm going to have a day off tomorrow. I'm going to need, and I think I need it as well. So yeah, I'm just going to drop this host on there. Uh, sealed as well make sure you go and check him out really good dude i will if i don't see you on monday here on twitch i will see you on tuesday with gmw peace out